Well, two major deadlines loom after the explosion in downtown Youngstown over two weeks ago. And today, residents of the International Towers need to be out of that building by noon. Mayor Tito Brown has set a Monday deadline for the owners of the Realty Building to present a safety plan for it. And First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons is live outside the Realty Building this morning. We go in depth on how stable that building is. Cheyenne? Josh, Anna, the engineer's report cited that the Realty Building was in imminent danger of collapse. And without a current stabilization plan, it's really in a big question. I spoke with YSU civil engineering professor in Warrell Islam. He tells me that he has a PhD in blast structural resistance. The report says in the explosion, the ground floor had completely collapsed. Islam says it's says the collapse has decreased the support of the columns that bear the weight of the building in two ways. First, the columns are now twice the height, but unsupported without the ground floor to stabilize the middle. Second, beams now only support those columns in one direction rather than two, making it more prone to swaying. Islam says damage to the columns itself is hard to, to determine without being up close, which wasn't a possibility and it was noted in the report. He says a collapse of the building can't be timelined or predicted. If it starts failing, Everything can happen within 10, 15 seconds. It's complete. Now, whether it's going to go down like this, or it can lean back and then fail on any side. This is why there's an evacuation of 210 feet around the building and why no one can go inside. The International Towers residents, like you guys said before, have a new deadline today to get all of their belongings out of the building. Managers and police are going to be going throughout that building to make sure that nobody is in there. Bob Hannon of the United Way tells us that each resident did find temporary housing. Live in Youngstown, Cheyenne Gibbons, First News This Morning. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.